And the Oscar goes to... Whacking Phoenix Joker. <laughs> We never rehearsed the character. We never talked really specifically about what he would do. All we really talked about was script and story and character. Is it just me, or is it getting crazier out there? I think his process is one of surprise for himself. It seemed like it was the only way to do it, because you have a character that's so erratic, and he's not really certain of what he's going to do. One of the first things I'd said to him when we started talking about the character, I said, you know, Arthur has this grace in him that we don't see at first. He has music in him. And it's funny when you talk to actors, it was something I said with 42 other things, but it really stuck with him. And, and that's what informed a lot of the dancing. In the script, there was really just two moments of dancing. In the movie, there's like five or six. Part of finding those moments, I have to say that I you know, worked with this choreographer named Michael Arnold for a couple sequences, and he'd introduced me to a lot of idea about movement and dance. In particular, one clip that he showed me, it's a song called The Old Soft Shoe. And for some reason, it encapsulated for, for me, like Joker trying to kind of come out, trying to emerge. It's hard to explain what an actor brings to a role, but if you like read two pages of the script and watch those two pages of that scene, it's jaw-dropping how additive he is to every single thing. When he was 17, my brother wrote this lyric. He said, run to the rescue with love and peace will follow. Thank you.